Hello, and welcome to part two of my Moth Poncho project. Here you will see me tracing and cutting out all of my pattern pieces. This blue fabric I have folded in half. That way, when I cut it out, I'll be able to open it up into one big wing piece. I will be cutting out two of these, one for the front and one for the back. Once I have those pieces cut out, I will now move on to cutting out all of the accent pieces for this design. So I've got the blue fabric as my base, and now I'm using this purple fabric as a contrast for the design pieces. So I'm cutting out all of the strips, and since my pattern was only a quarter of my full design, I had to multiply these pieces by four in order to make sure that I had enough for the full project. Next, I traced out and cut out all of the circles that I'll need. Once I had all of my accent pieces cut out, I laid them down on my pattern piece just to make sure that everything was lining up as it should and that I had all the pieces that I needed. Once that looked good, I stretched out my fabric and laid down the accent pieces and I adjusted them, made sure that they were exactly where I wanted them to be and then pinned them in place. I started with the biggest pieces first and worked in from there. I used my pattern pieces in order to help me line things up a little bit better. Again, keep in mind, I'm only showing you one half of what I'm doing for everything. So since this is only the front side of my poncho, I did this exact same thing again to get an identical piece for the back. Once I have those pieces secured, I'm now using my pattern piece to mark the top and the bottom of the lines that I want down the center of the wings. So instead of cutting out fabric pieces for this part of the design, I decided I was just going to stitch lines down with black thread. So I am marking the lines out in chalk and I will just trace over them with my sewing machine to get this part of the design. Once I've got all my lines drawn, I laid down the circles and adjusted them to where I thought looked good. Once I got them where I wanted them, I pinned them in place. Moving on to my hood pieces. So this is the outer part of the hood. I cut the main piece out in blue, and then the squiggly bit for the front, I'm cutting that out in purple. I made sure to add a little bit of extra fabric along the squiggly line part. That way when I overlap the two pieces, I've got room to stitch them together so that nothing's falling apart. Once I lined them up where I wanted them, I pinned them in place. I am now moving on to the inner lining pattern pieces. So for the hood, I knew that I wanted a solid piece of this moth 
fabric. So I went ahead and folded the fabric in half and just cut out one big piece for the hood pieces. As for the inner lining, these pieces, I also needed two of every piece. So I folded my fabric in half and then traced it out, pinned it together, and then labeled it with the corresponding number so that nothing got confused. I scooched my fabric up and repeated that process for the other two pattern pieces. And once I had everything traced out, I went ahead and cut them out, making sure to flip over my pieces and label the back side too. Since I've got these pinned together, if I were to separate the pieces, I didn't want to mix them up, so I made sure to label the corresponding numbers on the front and the back of all the pieces that I was cutting out. Next, we're moving on to the black triangular pieces that will be spliced between the moth fabric for the lining. As I explained in part one, unfortunately I found out I did not have enough of the moth fabric to just do one big solid lining piece. And by the time I needed more, it was no longer sold in store. So I came up with this plan to splice black between the moth, that way it all was nice and even and cohesive. So since I need two of all of these pieces as well, I folded my fabric in half, pinned them together, and then made sure to label both the front and the back of the pieces. For my pocket, I decided to use my original poncho pocket pattern piece, and I just cut that out of black. And in order to avoid it being just a big blob of black, I wanted to tessellate these little moth pieces to break it up because I felt if I just had one big solid black pocket piece it would it wouldn't it would throw off it would be very distracting and it would throw off the whole look so I cut out multiple moths and then moved them all around figured out what I liked and I ended up just going with these three I thought they looked very nice I made sure everything was nice and even once I got them in the spot I liked I pinned them and I end up stitching around the outside of the moths to hold them on. So now that we've got all of our pieces, now comes the daunting task of me pinning together all of these pieces. So even though I had them labeled with the numbers, um, things did get a little bit mixed up and it took a lot of uh, pinning some pieces, unpinning, switching them around. <laughs> figuring out what was supposed to, to look good and match up. Um, what, what tripped me up was because I cut all the pieces out together with the fabric folded in half, I had to reverse all of the pieces for the other side and assemble them in reverse number order. Long story short, it was a little tricky. I ended up getting it in the end, so that was really cool. I used my pattern pieces to make sure that everything was lining up accordingly since I cut the black pieces a little bit wider to compensate for the overlap. Um, I used the pattern pieces then when assembling to make sure that I had just the right amount of spacing between all my pieces. That way when I go to attach the lining to the outer bit, everything lines up and works out for me. So. It took a lot of adjusting, but we got there. And that's the important part, just persevere. You can use this lesson in all parts of life. If you're struggling, keep going, keep pushing. You'll get there in the end. Just believe in yourself. <laughs> so that pretty much brings us to the end of this, even though I had way more cutting out pieces, way more time of cutting out pieces, I decided to keep it a little bit shorter than I originally anticipated because it was just a lot of repetitive cutting out the same piece over and over. <laughs> so um, anyway, here, here we are at the end of part two of this journey and uh, part three will be me stitching these all together, assembling all the pieces and showing you the final result. So uh, stay tuned for part three of my moth poncho series. And uh, thank you for watching.
see you in the next one.